Okay, so let's go ahead on and get into your reading, Virgo. This is going to be like a little uh, quick mini general reading for this weekend here, starting with Friday the 17th. Okay, so what I can tell you is that um, some of my Virgos at this time right now, you could be possibly dealing with two to three different people, okay? Um, one of this person, I can definitely tell you, um, you've got somebody from the past that's thinking about you, okay? Somebody who you was in a relationship with, okay? This person is pretty much, you know, using their imagination, thinking the ways how they can um, approach you without... Um, you know, like offending you and many people see you on guard because you are, you know, because you dealt with somebody who pretty much, you know, stabbed you in the back from the pack with this five of swords coming in with conflict or you got somebody because with this seven of swords, which is the same shit from last night, you know what I'm saying? Watch your back. Somebody is pretending to be your friend when it comes to this seven of swords. Somebody is kind of like coming to you, approaching you with a smile, saying all the right shit, but they're pretty much wearing a false mask because with this shadow side card, that's telling me that you're dealing with somebody who's wearing a fake mask. You know what I'm saying? They're putting on the front. They're coming in front of you. they smiling like everything is all, you know, all Gucci and shit like that. But like behind closed doors, they really want to get in and see what's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, many of you are dealing with somebody who's trying to figure you out. You know what I'm saying? Where they trying to figure out, well, you know, everybody's been pretty much on shutdown, locked in, you know, people not working. So you got people that's basically nosy as hell. They want to come get in your business. They want to see how it is that you are maintaining and see how stable you are now that everything has been shut down. They want to get in your business and they want to know how you're surviving, see how you're living, you know, bring a bone, go back and carry a bone, in other words. You know what I'm saying? He say, she say going around questioning people, what's going on with so-and-so, have you heard anything about so-and-so, what's new with so-and-so, so yeah, you got quite a few people that want, you know, is trying to get in your business, gossiping, talking about you, want to know what the hell, you know, what's going on, how you holding up, and pretty much some people just want to see you fall, get in your business just so they have some shit to talk about, and the thought of you being in the limelight, you got people that, you know, they're curious because they see you in the spotlight, but you got some people who think like, you know, like you're hiding something, like something is too good to be true, you know what I'm saying, and so they're curious now because they want to know what it is you're hiding, and so basically, like I said, you got somebody from the past who's thinking about you, but they see the situation between you and them as like a, a lost cause, you know what I'm saying, like it's hopeless. Um, right now you got two people, which I kind of picked up on three different people, but you got a Knight of Swords and a Knight of Cups that wants to come rushing in, okay? Knight of Cups can be a, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Knight of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? So right now you're dealing with water and air, okay? Um... What I can tell you is that I'm picking up on the earth sign, okay, with the six of pentacles when it comes to a give and take situation, okay, um, somebody's holding on too tight to the past with this four of pentacles, okay, somebody's holding on too tight with this four of pentacles and they don't want to let go. So somebody's still holding on to the past. And so because this person's still holding on to the past with this nine of swords, somebody is like, suffering with anxieties and overanalyzing things and worrying about a situation and stressing about a situation and with that moon in the background i'm thinking it's because somebody had secrets kept secrets and so now they feel a guilty and ashamed because they don't have so much shit hid and they don't know how to talk about it and they scared that they're about to be exposed so they're trying to keep their secrets from being exposed and so that's what's keeping them with all this uh suffocation anxiety and all that bullshit and like i said with this shadow card you dealing with somebody who's wearing a fake ass mask with that food card um you got somebody who wanting to take a leap of faith again that's an ear sign that food card gemini libra aquarius um the justice card somebody's wanting to like um have abundance with you but you know and, and you got somebody who wants to come in and make your offer like i said with this page of cups right somebody wants to come make your offer but with that page of swords you're not feeling it you know what i'm saying and, and with that queen of swords you're not feeling it because you're pretty much sitting on your throne like bullshit fuck that you know the high priest you're very intuitive right now Virgo. so you're really not falling for nobody bullshit at this time you got the hermit card which means we're just pretty much trying to go in and rest take this time to rest for ourselves you know what i'm saying and figure what our next move is gonna be for our damn self right now i don't see none of my workers really trying to jump into no 
relationship. Although, like I said, you may have two, three different people that I feel is trying to approach you because I kind of picked up on um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, along with an earth sign. So it could be a Taurus or either Aries. So that's what I picked up on that's trying to come and approach you. And, um, and really, none of the offers are really hitting on shit, to be honest with you. You know, nothing that's going to turn your head and make you fall in love. That's for damn sure. So, you know, right now, with us Virgos, if it can't, if it can't grab about, you know, our attention, we're really not going to fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? We don't even want to be bothered right now. We don't want nobody knocking at the door, calling us, and they're not talking about shit, don't really have shit. You know what I'm saying? Some people, misery loves company. You feel me? So sometimes when people are miserable and they're alone, they shut in. They looking for a shoulder to cry on, and sometimes we 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 need our we need our space. We got to get our rest. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, we you know we have to think about that. We're not really jumping up, leaping to want to get nobody. You know our time, because we like our own private space. You know us Virgos, we are the hermit. We're the hermit. We don't want nobody in our space. That's a violation for us. You know what I'm saying? And so um. Like I said, with this mini reading, this high priest, you know, on point, listening to your, you know, intuition. When it comes to dealing with a motherfucker that's being sneaky as hell, wearing that fake ass man with the shadow side. Somebody wanting to come leap in and take, you know, food card, take a leap of faith with you, but you're not feeling that shit. Hermit card, we on hermit mode. Like I said, the six of pentacles when it comes to dealing with a give and take situation. With that four of pentacles, somebody's holding on too tight to the past, not want to let go. And with that nine of swords, somebody's suffering with some type of anxiety, depression, and stress, and worries and all that bullshit because it's hidden secret with that moon in the background. Somebody's hiding shit. With the four of cups, somebody's thinking about you real heavy, can't get you off their mind, but they see the shit as a lost cause, like it's not even worth really fucking with, which is true because it ain't really worth fucking with. Cause ain't, ain't nobody putting shit into it. And so you can't just pull up at my door, you know, empty handed, unannounced, broke and think that I'm going to open the door and let you come in just to get some pussy. That's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? These niggas walking around here, they still mates. You know what I'm saying? Men, some men, are, you, not all men, because, you know, we had some good Virgo men. Shout out to all my, my very strong, hardworking, responsible, reliable, trustworthy Virgo men. I'm talking about those other people. Okay, Virgo men? I'm talking about those other people. You know, those unresponsible uh, male people. Okay, that's walking around here with all these damn diseases and don't give a damn when they going around here spreading that shit to every goddamn body. Nobody ain't trying to catch that shit. Okay. I'm just saying. You know, because you got some people that just sorry as hell. They'll pull up to your door for some pussy and don't know and don't even know what the hell they got in their drawers. You know what I'm saying? They need to be bringing a damn doctor's note. Shit, damn that shit. Go go to the doctor. Get checked. Get checked. Get checked. Some of y'all walking around the damn STD and want to go get shopping for pussy and your shit is affected. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Got to be careful this time of day. But yeah, with that magician call, you being creative. You know, the queen of swords, you're not putting up with nobody's shit. You got, like I said, knight of swords want to come rushing in. Five of swords, conflict. Seven of swords, somebody's backstabbing you in the back. Four of swords, you on guard like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Justice card, somebody wants to come in and seek abundance, but it ain't popping. Page of swords, you guard like a motherfucker. Page of cups, somebody want to come in and make you an offer. So, you know, this is pretty much your reading for this weekend here, Virgo. Nothing new. Same old, same old. Bullshit. Ain't nothing really popping. You know, nothing that's going to turn your head, spin your head, that sort of thing like that. You know, so, you know, like I said, if it ain't if it ain't grabbing our attention and, and making us want to get out the bed, look, you know, nah, nah, mm -mm -mm. bullshit ass office. Okay, Virgo. <laughs> same old, same old. All right. One love. I'm out.